In this video, I'm going to talk about clear ballistics gel tint and using tests that are done in clear ballistics uh, in order to kind of draw some uh, conclusion on how the penetration is and using the FBI penetration uh, in, in clear ballistics. So, I, the, one of the most popular tests that you're going to see today, uh, pictures and stuff like that, um, links would be to Lucky Gunner's uh, lab where he uses clear ballistic gel which is claimed to be FBI calibrated, an FBI block. Well, uh, there's been people who have tested this uh, in, uh, one of them was Brass Fetcher to see if, uh, if surely clear ballistics, um, the clear ballistics gel 10% actually adds up to the 10% uh, porcine gel or uh, ordnance gel that the FBI uses, not the old ballistics gel, which is basically just gelatin uh, that is, you know, made up and to a certain consistency or whatever. Uh, ordnance gelatin is a little bit different, <laughs> but <clears throat> anyways, um, I think it's very, uh, very sad that he wasted a lot of time and a lot, that was a lot of money paying for all that gel, however, um, it probably would have been a lot more if you had gotten an actual ordnance gel, but I think that the results would have been a lot different and a lot more accurate. So uh, he did he did some things right, you know, the heavy clothing, he actually used the real heavy clothing, not four layers of denim, it's denim, two types of cotton, and then um, some fleece, uh, a layer of fleece. So he did some things right. Uh, he did, uh, you know, all the little checks and stuff like that, but he was using the FBI ordnance gel penetration standards for something that does not, that for a medium that does not, you know, offer the same results. And a brass fetcher actually has something, I'm going to put a link down below on this, but uh, to quote off of his, uh, his site, brassfetcher.com shows that the density of clear ballistics is, it's about 25% less in density than uh, an actual porcine gel, the ordnance gel that the FBI uses. And density is everything. I know a lot of people are like, well, they calibrated it with a BB, blah, 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 blah. They calibrated it with a BB that's going 600 feet per second, and then they're shooting the damn thing with something that's going 1,200 feet per second or more. Um, that's going to screw up the results, and it you can look on Brass Fetcher's test where he actually tested this and a crap load of shots were fired. Uh, I believe he fired 10 or uh, 10 shots each uh, at uh, with a 9mm and a 40 caliber and what you're looking at is you're losing about 25% uh, penetration when you uh, uh, you're basically penetrating 25% more in clear ballistics in order to get it to the relative results that you're going to see in ordnance gel, you would have to take the penetration and multiply it by, you know, 0.75 or 0.8 uh, in order to see what it would actually probably be in actual ordnance gel. And the expansion is less too. The makeup of synthetic uh, gelatin, this synthetic uh, clear ballistics, it, it reacts differently. That's why you don't see a temporary wound cavity. The stretch cavity is not uh, stay permanent. It's not actually torn. Uh, it's flexible, so it takes a lot more to actually tear it. Um, it'll just give. It would rather give than to actually tear. FBI uh, ordnance gel is not like that. It actually has to be torn uh, in order to permanently stay open, and it's a, a little bit um, more sensitive. It's more dense, but it's a little more sensitive, so it doesn't give as much, and and uh, that's why you know the penetration is going to be less and the expansion is going to be more. It has to work more to get through it. And a quote from Brass Fetcher: You're looking at a density uh, from his calculations. The density of clear ballistics is at 790 kilograms per meters cubed. Whereas with ordnance gel, properly calibrated ordnance gel, you're looking at 1,034 kilograms per meter cube. That's about 25 to 30 percent um, more <clears throat> than uh, uh, that. That's the uh, porcine or FBI ordnance gel is 25 to 30 percent more dense 
uh, and density has a lot to do with it. I mean, that's what the results are. When you're shooting low velocity, little projectiles, little BBs, that doesn't tell you very much because I'm pretty sure you can do that to, you know, a lot of things. You can get a penetration like that in a, a clay that has a certain water content, whatever. You can find a lot of things that will penetrate only three and a half inches, but that doesn't mean that it's going to replicate the performance of FBI, FBI ordnance gel. It's just not the case. So typically, the way I see it, with uh, Lucky Gunner's, with Lucky Gunner's tests, um, and even with my own tests, uh, basically, you take uh, whatever the penetration was, and you multiply it by 0.75. So if an HST goes 15 inches, it's barely getting 12 inches. Uh, if it goes 15 inches in uh, basically the clear ballistics, then it, it's basically getting 12 inches in actual FBI gel, and that's what you're actually seeing when you actually test it in FBI gel, properly calibrated, which is pretty hard to do. Some people really screw it up and they get more penetration and, you know, yeah. But uh, anyways, uh, you're also seeing less expansion, which again will affect the penetration because this medium gives and it's more willing to flex and not have to be torn, uh, it's not as dense, then it's not going to force expansion, it's not going to take away uh, some of the weight as it's passing through. There, there's just a lot of things that clear ballistics does not show. It absorbs shock a lot better. Um, just because they say it's a calibrated FBI block does not mean it actually is. The, the science doesn't add up. Uh, the FBI block uh, it's it uses animal proteins. It's not. It's designed to be much more dense, and I, clear ballistics is fun. But if you look at my old tests, um, my standard range uh, was basically 15, 15 or sixteen inches or more. Because my standard, uh, if you watch my FBI protocol uh, video. Um, or FBI standard for their 12 inches. I don't believe in that 12 inches because a lot of people are like, 12 to 18 inches is good enough. Number one, kind of to recap, 12 inches was the bare minimum at that time based on body composition averages uh, in the United States or worldwide or whatever at that time. People fattened up a bit. So number two, they give full full points for something that goes 14, uh, 14 to 18 inches. So. A lot of uh, a lot of smart people will actually say 14 to 18 inches, uh, so that's what I would stick with, uh, and actually probably a little bit more given that uh, you know, given the body composition changes today. So uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, that's it on clear ballistics. It's not really a good accurate accurate representation of the penetration and. I understand where Lucky Gunner's, uh, you know, idea was coming from on this lab and trusting that uh, this stuff was just as good as clear uh, as FBI gel, but I would encourage him to kind of move his, move his uh, 12 to 18 inches to, to about 15 to 22 inches or whatever. And so uh, I think that would be more of an accurate representation. Uh, so, you know, that's just me. I, I'm my own person, but uh, uh, that's what I would do. So, anyways, if you're looking at ballistics gel tests, I, I would sit. I would sit around the. I would. I would want to see in clear ballistics. I would say 18 to 18 and above inches, as long as the thing expands, would be a good penetration depth to look at. Uh, but. You know, again, when we're doing these clear ballistics stuff and we're judging rounds, remember that when people are doing these uh, these tests, like Lucky Gunner, he's using a firearm I'm not using. I'm using a full-size firearm. I'm using barrel lengths that are shorter, longer. So it, the results would be different, and they would be a bit different in FBI gel as well. So you know, just take it with the uh, just take what you learn and. Uh, you know, try to apply it with some logic, and uh, hopefully that we can educate ourselves and not be uh, making the same mistakes and letting history repeat itself. Because history is there for a reason; we shouldn't be repeating it. 
but uh, it seems like people are getting dumber and dumber, uh, just taking the word of people instead of doing research. Kind of hypocritical, considering a lot of the old dogs in the, uh, in the community or industry are following the same path. You know, still believing in hydrostatic shock and, you know, energy foot-pounds equals something. But, anyways, um, I appreciate you all watching this, and uh, I'll see you guys around in another video on ammo selection.